Oh, hey there, YouTube. So, oh, hey there, YouTube. Um, so I received this rotor tiller from a friend. He said it wasn't starting, wasn't running. Um, I figured out what the problem was. One, the carburetor was dirty right there. Two, the gas tank was dirty. And what happened was that since there was so much junk in the gas can, when it did start, it sucked up all this crap. Got inside the intake. I don't know if you could see inside there. But it gunked everything up. You can see a little bit. Gunked everything up. Now, what the problem is, is that when you turn the engine, focus, when you turn the engine, exhaust port opens, intake port opens, but as the piston's coming up, the intake port is still closing. So that's not good. What's happening is that it's backfiring and it's spitting fuel out of the, uh, the carburetor like crazy. Um, so what we have to do is take the valve out, clean it, go inside here, hoping, pretty sure I think, yeah, inside there, and uh, take the valve out and clean it. So uh, back to it as soon as I get inside there. Alright YouTube, I'm back. So like I said before, it comes up, intake comes up. And it won't drop down, it's dropped down really slow and you can push it down. But yeah. So I have the cam the push rods open over here. I have the push rods open over here. And if you look, when it comes up, pushes the exhaust valve up, that comes down. It pushes the intake up. Well, if you look closely. Did it before, it's not doing it now. But anyway, that bottom, there you go. The bottom piece is slipping down. It's slipping down before the valve actually slips down, so which tells me that it's the valve. Oh my god, my case is annoying. Which tells me it's the valve that's getting stuck and not the actual crank part in the bottom. And also because when it does seat, anyway, when it does seat, there's about a millimeter of gap in between. So, and the other reason is because when this comes up and you try to turn it, it's really hard to turn, which means it's really sticky. Pretty hard to turn. So now I need to get that off and see what I can do from there. Alright YouTube, I'm back. So as you can see, I got the valve out. If you're looking down there, there's a lot of gunk. Camera focus. Anyway, there's a lot of gunk in there and everything. And what you want to do to make this easy is you want to leave the spring in there. Like that. Just where it's about to put, be on the push rod. If you look at the valve, it looks straight. So it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. It just has to be cleaned. Um, you can see why it wasn't sealing right or anything like that. It's because of all this gunk that's on there. Um, and inside there, we're going to have to clean all this up. All that out. And yeah. So I'll come back to you as soon as I get everything cleaned. Alright, YouTube. So I got the valve cleaned out pretty good. As you can see. Um, all I did was use just a wired brush, and it worked perfect. Right there too. I'm trying to see if this is the mailman. Hold on. Nope. Used the wired brush. Came out pretty good. Like I said, it's still straight, which is good. Um, now for cleaning out that, uh, you don't want to touch the piston. You don't want to touch anything that you actually you don't have to. Uh, but what you do want to do is you want to make sure that the piston is on the top of its stroke with both the valves closed. 
so that way you don't get anything into the cylinder wall or anything. So right there is at the top of his stroke. That way you can just blow it out and it'll blow right out. Um, what you could also do is just put a rag over there and do that. But as you can see in here, all the gunk that got sucked up from the carburetor got inside there, clogged this up, clogged up the hole that this slides into. Um, so I'm just going to clean that out and yeah, you can see here, cleaned out the mating surface, which seats, and I will do that. Also, to get the spring out, I forgot to tell you guys, there's a little clip. All you do is push the spring up with the screwdriver. That will just pop right out. Now, you might have to finagle with it a little bit, but once you get it, it's really easy. Um, so, yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as I clean the intake out. All right, YouTube. So, I got mostly everything back together. The um, reason why I didn't make a video of it is because there's really no reason. It's just putting everything that you took off back in reverse. It is working now. It just turns out to be dirty. Um, if you look in the spark book hole, it'll see it come up. There it is. It's closing when it's supposed to. So we're back in business. I'm getting everything back together, and I'll have a video up as soon as it starts and runs. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, so I'm back. Got everything put back together. I already started it up, and it runs pretty darn good. Um, right now, I'm just going to fill up the tank a little bit because it's not running the way I want it to be. So, That's all it needs. It's plenty. It's more than enough. Close this up. It's back. Um, as soon as I got it together, put the choke on full, put the throttle on full, started to rate up. Uh, now my problem is that it's not running completely fine. Uh, it's just the carburetor needs to be adjusted or because I was out of gas. So, choke's on full, idle's on full. Like I said. <sighs> I do act here when I get, finally get it running. Alright YouTube, so I finally got it running. All I did was just recap the spark plug and it started right up. So here you go. Yeah, that's how to repair a sticky valve. Thanks for watching.